All right, hi everyone, and welcome. My name is Bobby, and this evening I'm going to be showing you how to use Code Breaker with your PS2 backups. Whether you're booting up from uh, a DVD like this here, or you're booting up from one of these things here, your, your uh, hard drive, flash drive, or whatever. I'm going to try to make this tutorial as short as possible. Uh, so let's get started. So basically, we're going to need three files. Now, the first two files we'll be getting from this website right here. Now, I will be posting this under the description. It's under ME Paradise Forums. Now, the files that we'll be getting from here are these Codebreaker files along with the Codebreaker patch file. Now, for the sake of this tutorial only, um, I'll be working with the uh, Codebreaker version 10 which is the most updated code breaker along with the code breaker 10 patch now if you want you can go ahead and download the 9.3 version but you will also have to come down here and download the 9.3 patch along with it now as for the uh, 9.2 version there's no patch for that but they have provided a pre-patched version of 9.2 down here that you can download I've got all three of them but like I said, um, for this tutorial, I'll be using the uh, most updated version of Codebreaker, which is Codebreaker 10. So, let's get started here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to extract these files here. Okay. And we'll go ahead also and we'll, we'll start up our uh, Codebreaker patcher. And what this actually does, it just it it, it patches this code breaker to uh, um, what it does. It, it looks for this uh, so-called cb underscore launch dot elk in these three different directories or locations. Uh, whether whether it be on your HDD, uh, on your PS2, uh, your mass storage device, which is your flash drive or hard drive or whatever. Uh, your MC0, which is your memory card. Now, I've had trouble booting my code breaker um, up off my uh, memory card for some reason. It just won't work for me. Uh, I'm using a fat PS2. I noticed some guys on YouTube are using the, uh, the PS2 Slims. Now, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I'm using a, the the Early, earlier version maybe I don't know I don't know what's wrong with that but uh, it just won't work for me but uh, I have, I've had tons of luck and using my uh, hard drive so if you guys have the same problem just just get you a flash drive or a hard drive and uh, just do what I do here it will be fine now I will let you know guys uh, ahead of time that I will be making another video about this uh, so-called patching right here um, and how to uh, the way I do it uh, I will I will change this directory completely and uh, I will boot my uh, my files up in different locations on my hard drive you can do that but uh, for the sake of this tutorial this is pretty much the basic way to do it and this is the way I'm going to show you in this tutorial <clears throat> So I will be posting uh, another video up, uh, later, maybe next week or so. So all you gotta do is uh, come down here to patch, click the patch button, and it asks you to select the original code breaker file that would be overwritten, which is the file right here that we had extracted. We're just gonna hit OK, and we'll, what we do, we'll highlight it and hit Open, and as you can see, it says File Patch. So that's pretty much, uh, we're done with that. That's all you have to do. And now we're ready to put it onto our hard drive. And uh, guys, let me hook up my hard drive real quick. Connection established. All right, we'll sit here and let it load up. Let me move this out of the way just a little bit here. Okay, now first things first guys, we got to make a folder onto the root of your hard drive or USB or whatever. And what you're going to do, you're going to rename it 
boot b-o-o-t all caps and then we're going to open it up we're simply going to drag and drop our uh, patched code breaker file right into that folder there now since i'm going to be uh booting up from my usb now any of you guys who do the same thing know that we use the open ps2 loader and that's the file that i'm going to be looking for here which is this file right here i'm simply going to uh copy that file go back to our boot folder and simply paste it right in there like that and at the same time we're going to rename it we're going to rename it cb underscore launch just like that right there and that's pretty much it guys uh, that's all you have to do uh, now if you want to boot a DVD up, uh, instead of using that open PS2 loader and renaming it, uh, you'll have to, let's see, you have to grab up this file here, the ESR, and rename that to CB underscore launch. And, and place it in that, the boot folder along with your code breaker. And uh, the same thing with the HD loader. You, if you're loading up, uh, from the HD loader, you would rename that CB underscore launch. I mean, pretty simple. And I found out too, guys, that if you patch your code breaker 10 and you do not uh, create a CB underscore launch L file, then automatically when you go to boot up a game, it automatically redirects you to your U launch uh, program which is not a bad thing because then you can load up any program you want to. Say if you want to boot up a DVD, you can just sit here and just click on your ESR and, and boot your DVD up or you can go boot up your uh, open PS2 loader. I mean, you can just boot up any program you want by going to ULaunch, so that's not a bad thing either. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, this is all this is all ready uh, it's all set to go guys and uh, now we'll go on over to the uh, PS2 and I'll go over the next the next steps okay guys we're finna get started here there's our free McBoot logo and get started uh, there's, one thing, there's one other thing I want to show you guys. Uh, if you want to create a menu like I have here, you have to create a directory. And how you do that, you go to this Freemint Boot Configurator. And I'll show you real quick on how to do that. Uh, do, just hit the O button. Uh, what you want to do is scroll down to your Configure OSD Sys Options right here. And hit the O button. Uh, scroll down one one line which is your configure mm. item uh, no. my code breaker is oh, I think 21 yeah right here what you would do simply is uh, you would just hit the O button and you would create a path for that and I'll show you uh, I'll erase mine for one second just to show you path one you hit the O button uh, then you simply just find your file, which mine is on my USB, uh, well USB, my hard drive in this boot folder, and you just scroll down and hit your O button to uh, co configure a directory like this, and that's it. Then you go to return, go down to return again, and what you want to do, this is important also, is you want to save this to your memory card. So you want to save CNF to MC0 right here and hit your O button. And that's it. Now I'll return to the PS2 browser. And we'll get started with this. There's our free MacBook logo. Okay, so now we'll go into our code breaker 10. Once it, before it loads up, it'll hit it like at a flash blue real quick. 
There we go. For some reason, I can't get this to work on my memory card. I don't know why. I have no idea. I tried and tried. It works perfectly on my uh, hard drive here. I don't, I mean, which is fine with me because that's where all my games are at anyway. So, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go with uh, Contra Shattered Soldier. Uh, what you do, you just come in here. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Oh yeah, I'm going the wrong way here. There we go, right there. You just hit right to go into your thing here. Uh, these are all the uh, cheats that you can choose from. Uh, what I got highlighted is the moon jump and the max sport and in invincibility. Uh, just to show you that it works. Hey, 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 calm down over there. I'm trying to make a video. Good Lord, okay. But anyway, I hit start. Then, it, then what you want to do is go over to start game, hit your X button, and then hit your X button button once more, and that should load, go right into your open PS2 loader, just like that. Okay, we're going to hit the O button here, and I'm going to scroll down to my uh, Contra Shattered Soldier. We're going to hit the X button. Well, it's going to go through its long debugging process. I can't stand this. But anyway, as long as it works, whatever. Any day now. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is going to take a minute also, loading up. Well, not, well, it did a while ago anyway. But anyway, here we go. Let's go ahead and start this sucker up. We'll hit start. Well, we'll go into there. Maybe this is where it took a while loading up. I, I think, yeah, I believe it was. Hey, 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 hey. You don't hurt yourself over there. Stop it. Yeah, see, it does take a while loading up, if, especially if it's a long game. Oh, okay, here we go. Mommy. Mama's at work. She'll be home in a minute, though. So. Okay, here we go. All right, moon jump. There we go, moon jump, guys. And uh, let's see, invincibility. Yeah, we have in invincibility also. So, there you go guys, it does work. Uh, this will also work with uh, your DVD backup. You just have to, like I said, rename your ESRL to uh, CB underscore launch and just put it in the same folder, in the boot folder, which is your, uh, which your code breaker 10. Then. That's all you gotta do guys. Very simple, easy to do. Like I said, if you can't get it to work on, on your memory card, like like me, then just do it this way. It works just fine. But, uh, that's it, guys, for this tutorial. I appreciate you uh, checking it out. And I hope, it, again, that this tutorial of mine has helped anybody out in a, in a good way. So, uh, until next time, guys. Uh, happy playing and good luck and I'll see you guys later.